Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Spencer here with another Warzone miniature showcase. This time we're taking a look at the rest of the Dark Legion stuff we have. I already did a video on the Legionnaires. Uh, you can check that out in the links below. But I thought I'd show off, you know, everything else. Uh, these were all uh, assembled by BTP artist Roberto and painted up by BTP artist Jeremy. And he just finished these up last night, so let's take a closer look at what he's got. All right, so here we have two Necromutant squad leaders. These are actually an upgrade for the Undead Legionnaires, and they come on 40 mil bases, and these guys are pretty cool. Uh, the new Necromutants look really awesome. I love that their rifles are, <laughs> they're essentially the old school Necromutant rifles, which is just cool. And again, you know, these guys, uh, Protoss has really gone out of their way to capture that old school Warzone feel, but uh, update it and make it much smoother, a little more streamlined. And these guys are a great example of that. So these guys are really cool because you can upgrade a or the Undead Legionnaire Squad commander to one of these, and they can actually create more Legionnaires. So if they kill something in melee, um, I believe there's a role involved, but you can. Whatever you kill, you can make into a Legionnaire. Also, when you kill one of these, uh, they explode. Uh, I believe that's only in close combat, though, but uh, I've run into that before, and it's it's brutal, because it can it can kill people pretty easy. Uh, so these guys are just, just really cool models, and they're really brutal in-game. Uh, these are... In the new Dark Legion starter box, you get... Um, the Ten Legionnaires, uh, the Razide, and two of these guys. So, you get the option to upgrade your Legionnaires, which is good because Legionnaires really aren't designed for, for leadership, and these guys have so many special rules, and they have heal and all that, uh, that really just makes them entirely worth taking. And here we have even more Necromutants. These are uh, just a regular Necromutant squad. So again, they have the really cool old school assault rifle, um, and in a squad of five, you can take two of uh, I believe these are plague dealer flamethrowers, which is cool. Uh, I play Bauhaus, so I can only take one special weapon per every five guys, as opposed to Dark Legion uh, and a couple other factions that can take two, but. These guys came out really cool. I'm really, really thrilled with how they look. I really love this guy's. He's got the chain around his fist, and he's got his mohawk, and he, he looks like the old school Necromutants, which is just really cool. Um, got the two plague dealers. I like this guy's kind of creepy executioner mask. So, again, Protoss really captured the old school feel of Warzone miniatures with these new ones. And just made them look great. The detail on them is uh, just incredible. They got all these wraps and bandages on their legs and all their belts and ammo pouches and stuff. And they just came out really nice. I'm I'm very thrilled with how they came out. I'm very impressed. Although I really I say that like Jeremy's not a good painter. He's actually a really really good painter. Uh, so yeah, the Necromutants really digging them. Uh, if you're playing Dark Legion, I would suggest picking up a squad of these guys because they, they're they a good troop choice. They're they're durable, much more durable than Legionnaires at least. Um, you can get the two flamethrowers. You can run them in squads of 10 if you really want. Uh, they have heal. Uh, they have... I think they have... They get like heal 8 against plasma type weapons, so... That's pretty cool, because most everything else in the Dark Legion army is kind of weak against Plasma, but these guys are pretty strong against it. Also, with the new Imperial stuff, with all the gas weapons they're putting out, uh, Necromutants, uh, the way gas weapons work is you do a constitution test, and if you fail, you take an automatic wound, no saves allowed. Uh, Necromutants get a plus four, I believe, to their constitution test, because uh, gas weapons really just don't affect them. They, they just don't care. So, yeah, a very cool unit, very cool models, uh, and highly recommended for anybody who's looking to pick up Dark Legion. Uh, so this is the last model you get in the new starter box. There's one more that came in the old starter box, which we 
which is what we had. Uh, and this is the, the Razai. This guy's. Oh, this guy's so cool. Uh, Jeremy went with very classic color scheme with the, the red and the purple. Um, and he's a very simplistic model in terms of detail. He's just big and, and muscly and, and just <laughs> designed for murdering everything and everyone you've ever cared about. Uh, he's got this cool gun, so you can get that in focus. There we go. So, very cool looking weapon. Very big, very hefty. There's uh, two versions of this model. Uh, the other one has this arm sort of bent at the elbow and pointing up. Um, and it's, it's kind of random which one you get. I think the starter box only comes with this one, with the outstretched arm, but I could be wrong. Um, still a very cool model, nice and big. Uh, not as big as I thought he'd be. I thought this guy would be huge. Um, but still a, a hefty and impressively sized miniature and very cool. And like I said, you still get one of these in the new starter box, uh, which is really cool because this guy hits pretty hard and he's pretty hard to kill. And he's just really awesome. All right, and here we have a squad of Praetorian Stalkers. These don't come in the starter box. We just got a box in. Uh, this is the close combat version, which have the uh, these big sickles, these size, the, the Reaper Semi. Uh, and these guys are just cool. There's two variants of this model. There's the close combat version you see here, and then there's a ranged combat version, which is the more uh, classic, traditional sort of Praetorian Stalkers. Um, these guys are just... They came out really awesome. And again, I love how old school design they are, but modern engineering. They they look like the old Praetorian Stalkers, but updated and sleeker. I love their armor is all sort of, not filigree, but you know, it's got this pattern on it, which just looks really cool. It's got it all up and down the blade of the scythe. Uh, and yeah, these guys came out really cool. Jeremy did an awesome job on these guys. Very impressive models. Uh, they, man, they hit hard. Uh, because these guys have rapid deployment, so you can get them to your opponent really quick, really easily, and uh, just get in the melee as, as soon as you want. And I think these things are like rate of attack 3, and they're like strength plus 4. So I think they swing at like strength 14 or 15 or something crazy like that. So they hit hard and they're pretty heavily armored. I think they're armor 15 and impenetrable armor like 11. 10 or 11, something like that. They have impenetrable armor and they're like two or three wounds. Uh, and you can run them in squads of one guy. So you can technically have three squads of these guys, of individuals, and just pop up at any point on the board and just pretty much murder everything in their path. So, yeah, very cool models. Uh, I'm hoping we can get some of the ranged versions in sometime and show those off as well. And lastly, we have the big guy himself. This is Alakai the Cunning. Uh, you get him in the old Dark Legion Star Box. You don't get him in the new one, which is a bit unfortunate, but... Oh, man, this model is so awesome. Uh, it's very dynamic. I love how... His cloak is just all flowing, and he's got a good sense of motion to him. He's got his nice uh, beefy sword. And he just looks really cool, and uh, Jeremy did a really good job. He opted to go with the, the classic sort of nephrite red. Uh, in the official art in the book, uh, Alakai is sort of a bluish gray, uh, very similar to these guys. But Jeremy wanted to differentiate him a little bit more, so he went with the red. Uh, he's got this cool mask here on his hip, uh, which would have been cool as a alternate head. But, you know, uh, this guy was one of the, the first run models they made, so they weren't too keen on doing a lot of, like, alternate parts on, on the, the first wave of stuff. Newer stuff, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is just... He just, he, that is the face of pure evil. And I love it. This is just, it's so cool to see Alakai get an update because his old model is just terrible. Uh, and this blows it out of the water. 
pretty much without even trying. So, yeah, that is uh, the remainder of the Dark Legion stuff we have. If you are interested in getting a Dark Legion army painted up by Blue Table Painting, uh, you can send an email to projects at bluetablepainting.com and talk to Steve and he'll hook you up with all the prices for getting all this done up. And guys, this is just a great looking army for a great game, incredible miniatures. So, you know, again, if, you, if you're interested in getting to Warzone, send an email to Steve. He will take care of you and we can get you an awesome looking army like this in no time flat. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you all got your inspiration for the day and I will see you later.